Hi, I'm Jim Peterson. I'm the CEO and a director of Kivalik Energy Corporation. Kivalik trades on the Venture Exchange and the ticker symbol KIV. Kivalik controls a 1,000 square kilometer land package in the territory of Nunavut, Canada called Angalak. Within Angalak, we have defined an inferred resource at a zone that we call the LAC50 trend, 43 million pounds of high-grade uranium. The LAC50 trend deposits outside of the Athabasca Basin on a global basis is the highest grade uranium project in the world. We've done a significant amount of work there, dr drilled over 80,000 meters, and uh, we've had a lot of success with exploration. We're working right now on an internal scoping study, and it, that in internal scoping study will lead us, will feed into a future PEA. But we've got lots of exploration potential there. We've had a lot of success drilling targets that are not currently incorporated into the inferred resource. We've got high grade showings across the entire land package, a thousand square kilometers. And we're the only group who effectively controls two sub basins in Nunavut territory, two sub basins of the Baker Basin. So very important to have sandstone basins with respect to uranium exploration. And we've, we control effectively two of them with high grade showings across both basins. So we're in a great position and we, we will benefit greatly, and the project will as well, with the turnaround uranium prices. Our project will be at the forefront of many investors' minds. We recently signed a deal on a, what we call our Genesis property in Saskatchewan. We made a large acquisition through staking. We did quite a bit of work, and we put together a program, a budget, and a plan, and we talked to a group called West Ham Resources. We signed a deal recently with them, which was announced. And once the financing closes and, the, and our transaction closes, we'll be very active. They'll be running exploration programs. We'll be operator. So it, it means a couple of different things for our shareholders. The first thing is that we will have an opportunity, or our shareholders will have an opportunity to participate in an exploration program and have the potential for discovery, which many investors like. Our team will be operating, so we will be busy. Our team will be busy, and our burn rate will be reduced. We have an equity position in this company once upon the transaction closing, so we get some upside for our shareholders, and there will be cash payments as well. So it's a great deal, we get to explore, we get to work with a very strong group in the form of West Ham, which will be called Rough Rider Exploration Limited upon the closing of the transaction. They've got a strong board, we've got a strong operational team, and our shareholders will benefit through that without dilution. Well, the first one, the, the catalysts in 2014 most of them will be hanging on the Genesis property. Upon the closing of the proposed transaction, we will immediately start an exploration program. So there'll be news flow from that, not only the commencement of that program, the definition of scope for that program, but also the results for that program. And what we're hoping is that working together with West Ham, which will become Rough Rider Exploration, we'll actually have some pretty compelling drill targets for January or February 2015. So announcement of program, the execution of the program, results of the program, and potentially some pretty compelling targets to test really in 2015. Kamenak. However, I'm biased as an independent director of Kamenak. I really like what they're doing. They've got an amazing board of directors, management team, Coffee Gold project with the PEA coming out within the next month.